What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a ride, a 1968 Camaro. This one's got the 502 up under the hood. And she set up straight for the drag strip. We got aluminum heads on this one. The Liberty Clutchless Equalizer 5-speed manual transmission. A lot of aerospace components, four-wheel disc brakes. This thing is literally set up to drag. Should be a fun test drive. Check out the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping on something like this. It's got a full roll cage. The shifter on this one, the way it works, you let out the throttle, it goes into neutral. Don't forget to hit subscribe, share, hit like. I'll keep these videos coming your way. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. It's about that time, Harper here. You gonna rock and roll here? This, this is a real race car driver, guys. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We ready?
come back. <laughs> so on this one, <laughs> explain to them, you know, when you let out of the throttle, it actually goes straight into neutral, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you got to either hold it you in. You hold it or either shift it, because when you let out, it, it it's like a, a real pro stocker. Uh, it's, this is, transmission is for a pro stocker. You when you see them on TV and they go through the gears, yeah, and then they they reach up to cut it off. You see that thing slap back in neutral by itself when they let off. Yeah, and he's out there every weekend racing, guys. Appreciate it, Harbor. Okay, man. Okay guys, getting ready to walk around this 1968 Camaro. This thing is super fast. It's got a 502 under the hood. No power steering wheel wood brakes. Got an aluminum radiator, electric fan, lots of chrome. And she is very loud. What I want to do is walk around, point out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find so you know everything about the body and interior of this car. We'll get her started up, listen to the motor, and uh, call it a video here. So let's go ahead and get started. I was checking the gas earlier. You can see a little bit down in there. We definitely need to make sure we got fuel before we uh, run out. Let's see, get the battery in the trunk. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. It's coming up around the front end. It's in pretty good shape. It does have a few chips and scratches. Little spots all around the front here, cracks. Overspray. Coming on down this lower portion first. Front tires are in good shape. Craigers, hook it over. Stickers, that ain't stickers, that's paint. Coming on down. Your lower portion here looking pretty solid all the way through chrome bumper on the backs like brand new same with the tail lights back that mid section sticker here paint on everything else new door handles you got some chips up in the corner here coming back over the top of the fender a little rub mark there in the corner Wipers have been deleted. Trim around all the windows. Looks pretty new. A lot of glue down there. The bottom. Up your pillars. Pretty good. Little spot there. Around the back here. I said looking at the rear, it's in great shape. Not bad looking at all. In the trunk. 
like you got a battery gauge, a fuel pump. Battery box, solid trunk. Roll cage all the way through here. Trunk lid itself. Chip here on top of the wing. It's like a little extra silicone around that back window where they try to seal it up. Chrome trim looks great. Package tray looks good. This car is very slick, lots of wax. And so far, very solid. Let's keep going. it over paint runs down here at the bottom up it over overspray right here on this portion Back that midsection. Pretty good job painting that stuff on. Little spot here. Door handles look great. Chrome trim around the windows is in pretty good shape. Mirrors look great. Little spot right there in the corner. Okay. Little rubbish there. And then you got the seal down in there, looks good. Far so good everything looks nice and clean let's go ahead and check out this interior and we'll get her started up i've actually never started this car so i'm gonna learn it with you before we do that we'll look at the door panel it's in pretty good shape seals around it look great thick on the paint here in the corner down that lower portion Oh, got a little bit of work that's been done here in the corner. See how it's peeling. Coming up and over. Carpet in this one has been replaced. It's in great shape. I really like that material. Same with around the shifter boot. High dollar transmission. We'll put details on the website of that. I don't deal with transmissions of that great but uh from what i've heard it's awesome and this car's set up for the strip big time coming back here the panels the seats everything looks good your package tray in good shape headliner in this one's pretty good but you see them panels back there they got a few little bubbles popping up On both sides there even got a little bit of head support here all right so let's just get her started up here guess I'm about to climb in might be able to do it from outside of the car 
Let's see. Well, how about we just fall in? There we go. I'm in here. The first thing I notice is the temperature gauge is way off. The motor's cold. I mean, it's just cold. The temperature gauge is not reading right. Instagram. Jump on them. Come follow us. With that being said, we have merchandise below as well. Guys, thank you. I'll see you later.